Hello everyone, it's Kei. How's it going today? So this is the uh, the 15th of uh, December 2020 on uh, Tuesday. So actually this re video is recorded and it's recorded on the 13th of um, December on uh, uh, on Saturday, uh, sorry, on Sunday. So um, yeah, uh, today is the 15th and I talk about the essence of the Kumo. So let's get started before starting here uh, just a quick disclaimer this information is basically uh, based on my understanding experience knowledge so when you take trades please do with your own risk so let's talk about the kumo so what do you know about the kumo is uh my first question the kumo is got uh it's got the single span b single span a and they move differently they move differently the single span a and b and also, uh, it's got the thickness, it's got the angle of the Kumo. So actually, there are uh, many, many information about the Kumo itself. So Kumo is the main part of Ichimoku. And I read the Kumo to analyze the market. Kumo is actually the essence of uh, the, the Ichimoku. It's, uh, it's very powerful lines when you uh, can reinterpret the market by Kumo correctly. So. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Kei and I am a Japanese full-time forex trader here in, based in Tokyo, Japan. And I talk about my strategy and also every Tuesdays and Thursdays, I talk about the market based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo mainly. So today's lesson is about the Kumo, as today, Tuesday focuses on the Ichimoku basic lecture series. So. Yeah, let me show you some example, a good example for trending market. So one of the example, good examples would be uh, GPP USD daily chart. Uh, right now, this is up Kumo here. We see the single span B up, A up. But not only that, it's got the thickness to it. It's got a decent thickness to it. After the Kumo twist, the Kumo has been moving up uh, very stably. So this is the market that looks to be uptrending. So we see the retracement uh, last week, but um, looks like it's been supported. And I expect the market to still go up this way in the long term. So Kumo shows the long term market direction. And in this case, I can see that the Kumo gets the thickness to it. And I think the market still goes up this way. Unless the price, unless the market goes into the Kumo, this is too bullish. So, yeah. Um, I, first, I will show you some examples of the Kumo where there's a stable trend, and then later on, I will show examples where the market might retrace backwards by the Kumo formation. So, let me give you two more examples for the Kumo, uh, uh, you know, uh, stable trend by the Kumo. So, another example would be Euro USD. After the Kumo twist on Euro USD daily chart, it's been uptrending, and also a uh, single span B flat, but we can see that the single span A is moving up still. So in this case, I can still see that this is up Kumo, and it's got a thickness to it. So I can see that the market breaks recent high on this uh, 1.2181 level upwards this way. So that's um, one of the things about the Kumo. And also, let me show you one more example. That will be, uh, we have covered pound, USD, Euro, USD. So let's pick up some CAD pair or AUD pair. So let's pick up the AUD USD. Yeah, AUD USD looks better in its Kumo structure than the previous example because we see uh, the single span B up and also A's up. And not only that, the Kumo ever since the Kumo twisted here, it's been move, moving up so stably and it's got a decent thickness to it. So in this condition, I expect the market continue to go up this way. Uh, last Friday, we had the pin bar here, so there might be some small retracement to Tenkan Sen, but I can see that the market still con continuously goes up this way. Uh, we can draw the, uh, re um, the trend line like this way, and the market might potentially come back to the trend line but continue to go up this way because of this Kumo structure. 
So I keep looking for buy chains on this AUD USD as well. So these are three good examples for trending market by the Kumo. And let me show you um, three uh, not good examples for trending pairs uh, as per Kumo. So first one is the USD JPY. Yeah, USD JPY, if you see Kumo here, this is bearish, but this is flat. You see uh, flat Kumo, flat uh, single span B, and flat single span A. And this is a P wave structure, and it's now consolidating. And if you see Chikou span, Chikou span is actually touching the candles, and Kijun Sen is pretty much flat right now. So, yeah, you see from the from the Kumo viewpoint that this is also the range market. And this is where you don't want to look for any buy or sell chances. So that's one. And let me show you other example, Euro CAD. A Euro CAD Kumo here, we see the Kumo, uh, bullish Kumo, but uh, this is too small, too young, and too short. And it's pretty much flat. Although this is the bullish Kumo, the Kumo looks to be down trending. So, and this Kumo formation happens because of this volatility, spikes up and down. So basically, this is a typical condition where the Kumo flat, and this is where you we know, you want to avoid taking trades. So other example would be uh, GPP JPY. Yeah, GPP JPY Kumo also flat. We see the single span B flat, but the single span A is retracing backwards. So in this case, the market is ranging basically. It just goes going up and down. So it might be supported by this 137.31 level and goes up, or it might break through downwards and we don't know which way it's going in this kind of condition. So I would stay away from this kind of pair, but focus on the trending pair as per Kumo. So yeah, these are the examples. So once again, the Kumo tells you the direction of the market. And when you see thick Kumo, and the trending Kumo like this, or here, USCCAD, this is also down Kumo sharply and very stable, down Kumo, and this is where you want to take trades. But in this one, like USCJPY, it's totally flat, and also EURCAD, this is totally flat too. This is too thin and too short, too flat, and this is, you want to avoid taking trades. So I hope you get the essence of the Kumo today. And if you liked today's lesson, please place a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that I talk about uh, different things every day on this YouTube channel. So tomorrow, I will talk about the essence of exit timing. So tomorrow is going to be Wednesday and I talk about the KTS, my own strategy. It's going to be a recorded video. So um, yeah, I will talk about the essence of exit timing, how I exit the trades, uh, I, I talk about it tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy tomorrow's video too, and I will see you on the next video. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane everyone. Thank you.